Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be doing a 1.9 the first 1.9 command block tutorial and this is going to be using the new command blocks and it's showing you how to do an anti-AFK system so people can't just be AFK on your server all the time so to start with you need to make a few scoreboard objectives so uh, firstly scoreboard objectives add um, I'm going to call it walk and it's going to be stat dot walk one cm. So if I quickly set that to the scoreboard objective set display, so if I set it to the sidebar, as I walk around, oops, I forgot to add walk. Now if I walk around, you'll see that number slowly goes up as I walk around. Unfortunately, if you run, it doesn't count up, but it will if you walk. So just walk around if you don't want to get AFK teleported or whatever so you'll also want to make another objective so add I'm going to call it counter and it needs to be a dummy I'm not sure I've said this before but a dummy is just a random number it's just just a number so it's not specific to adding up when it needs to so this is going to be where I'm going to teleport the AFK players and in here you could have whatever you want, you could have like a URAFK right click this sign or right click this button to teleport back to spawn or something. Um, I'm going to do sign shops and right clicking signs in another video but right now I'm just going to teleport to them to that spot. So remember with the command blocks they always need to be in the spawn area so when you place it it's going to look a bit different to the old 1.8 command blocks. They're going to have four arrows on each side. So there's an arrow there, there, there and there. And there's going to be a square and a circle. Now the arrows point to where the output will be. So when you open it, there's a bunch of different buttons now. So you've got always active needs red zone, unconditional and conditional, and impulse, chain and repeat. These are the different types of command blocks. So we're going to be using repeats mainly um, because this is instead of using rest and clock which is very useful because there won't be as much lag at all on your server anymore but before we get onto this I'm going to make a rest and clock that counts every second it's not exactly a second but it's roughly a second so one two three that's roughly it will do you can make sure it's proper exact but I don't, I don't need it to be so what you want to do is have a command block it doesn't matter which way it's facing I don't think and you want to do scoreboard players add at a so this will add a score to everyone counter one so if I do scoreboard objectives set display sidebar counter now as you see every second that will count up obviously it's not exact seconds so as that's counting up it will keep going on forever so we want a way to reset it and this is the counter that will count how long you've been AFK for so this is where we use the new command box um, scoreboard players reset at a score underscore walk underscore min equals one so this will reset the play the everyone's scores where their walk is bigger than one because uh, the minimum is one here and it will reset all their scores so if even if if you have like a money score it will reset that too so if you want to get around that just reset walk and then have another command block that will reset their counter now these are just normal command blocks and nothing's going to happen right now however if we make it always active so we don't need like a switch and we change it to repeat this will always be working now so this will reset walk so if we do scoreboard objective set display sidebar walk every time I walk it's being reset which is why you can't even see it that's how quickly it, re it resets so you just saw it flash on for a second then it's, it's just that very fast um, now it should be resetting the counter as well if I change this to repeat and always active. So now scoreboard objective set display sidebar counter. So if I walk, it's actually resetting too fast for it to 
realise that it's a counter. So for now I'm just going to make it reset all their scores. So as you see I stand still and it counts up. If I walk it's then gone. My counter has reset. And I stand still it starts counting again. So in order to detect that they've been AFK for so long you need to do uh, test for at a score underscore counter underscore min equals. Now this is how many seconds they are AFK for before they get teleported. So I'm just going to do a minute. So a minute is obviously 60 seconds so they'll be, ki they'll be teleported after 60 seconds. So you then want to add a uh, comparator at the circle not anywhere else, not the arrows or the square at the circle. You want to make this repeat and always active so it's always testing for them. Now this command block, it doesn't matter which way it's facing, you want to set this block here. So remember you can just press tab to get the coordinates automatically. You want to set it to an unpowered uh, comparator 1, no, 2, 3, 4. Oh, 0. My mistake. So it, the different numbers afterwards change the direction it's facing so you just want to cycle through them until they find your one you want you don't want the one with a this redstone bit on there if you've gone through them you can't find it it's probably just zero like mine was so you want to set that back to zero then up here you want to add another command block that scoreboard or scoreboard players reset at a score underscore uh, walk let's go min equals one counter actually wait no we want to reset everyone with the counter higher than 60 which is our kick time or teleport time reset the score of counter and finally we add another command block which teleports them so tpa score until counter and score min equals 60 not 1 and then we're going to TP them to this corner here so I'm going to teleport them to facing this way so minus 5 34.5 56 I'm looking here by the way XYZ and then if you want to look know which way it's facing this is it here 1.5 and 3 you can just round it to 0 and 0 Six and minus three nine five point five and zero zero at the end, which is facing that direction. So, what you might actually want to do is add a repeater here, which resets the score after they've been teleported. This is just in case this command block that was here is run before that one. It's just like a safety measure. So, if I quickly uh, reduce this to a two second AFK kick um, then I can test it so that, there we go I teleport and my count is reset and every time I stay stay AFK I'm being teleported so as you see my camera slightly wiggles when it happens now if I run obviously flying and sprinting do not count towards that walk time. So I'm walking, I'm not being kicked, then oh I go grab a drink from downstairs, I've gone AFK, you get teleported here. So that's all it really is, I'm gonna change this back to 60 now, I don't want to keep teleporting. Okay there we go. Change this back to 60 and change this back to 60. So this is how simple an AFK machine is. Obviously flying, like I said, flying around doesn't get remove the counter and running sprinting doesn't get rid of the counter I'm not sure if there's a way around that stat dot run I'm pretty sure sneaking also doesn't count yeah so it's literally just walking and this is done by looking at the uh, st statistics here uh, distance walk to 0.57 so there should be sprint maybe that's it what objectives add um, sp stat dot sprint yeah there we go sprint one centimeter so you you can add another one uh, sprint and stat dot sprint one centimeter scoreboard objectives add 
crouch, which is stat dot crouch one centimeter. There we go. And then you can do the exact same here as repeat, but instead of walk, we change this to sprint. Always active, and change this one to crouch. Repeat. Always active. Okay, so now stand still resets. Now if I fly around, oh yeah, flying still doesn't count, but sprinting resets it. Let it count up. Crouching resets it. I wonder if there's a add fly stat dot fly. Yep, there we go. There's a fly one too. So you can easily just add that. Just add them as more command blocks as repeat and always active. If it's not always active, then it will go up and you'll need a like a lever or something on top of it which activates it and then I flick it off and it starts counting again so I'm gonna just keep it as always active so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching and I shall see you in the next video